Blues season is about to kick into high gear because the Golden Globes are happening this Sunday. I'm so excited. I'm ready. Let's get into it. One of the best things about the Globes is it brings together the biggest stars from TV mm -hmm. and the big screen, and we're breaking down what to look for, starting with the movie nominees. And the Golden Globe goes to Emma Stone. <laughs> Can Emma make it two for two? Last year's winner for La La Land, she's up for Best Actress in a Comedy for playing Billie Jean King in Battle of the Sexes. The more nonsense you spell, the worse it's gonna be when you lose. <laughs> Emma's bringing Billie Jean to the red carpet, only fair after the tennis legend took her to the US Open. To have Billie Jean doing the commentary. Yeah, for right, just for only me. Just for you. <laughs> was a dream come true. Emma's fierce competition, Lady Bird, Saoirse Ronan, and Margot Robbie, who somehow got us to root for bad girl Olympian Tanya Harding. I get the sense that she felt somewhat vindicated that her side of the story was finally told. Do you have the papers? Not yet. The best actor in a drama race pits the Post star Tom Hanks against critical favorite Gary Oldman, up for playing Winston Churchill. And don't dismiss Denzel Washington, nominated for playing against his charismatic screen persona. He's awkward. We all are. I enjoyed the opportunity to get to be that, to embrace that. Best actress in a drama might be the Globe's nail biter. Jessica Chastain faces Sally Hawkins, Frances McDormand, Michelle Williams, and Meryl Streep. No matter the outcome, Meryl thinks the winner's gonna have a lot to say. Right now, we're gonna talk about women, probably, quite a bit. And parody. And equal pay. Can you guess which movie star has won the most Golden Globes? Well, I'm pretty sure all of us can guess this. It's Meryl Streep. She's won eight. 